Hello, y'all. Today is Tuesday, May 14, 2024, at um 9.01 a.m. in the morning. Um, so, let me see Calling something. Calling Bank Regional Library. If you would like to speak with someone, please press number one. Our normal wait while I transfer your call. Library administration. This is Tracy. Good morning. Hello, my name is Candy Grand Prix. Um, I called to um Friday. I had an incident where they had these these people online who were bullying and stalking me. And um, like I make I I do YouTube and I make videos all the time. I was at the West Bank Library, and um the West Bank the West Bank Regional Library. And the online stalkers tried to play a prank and thought it was funny to call up the library and tell lies on me and lied and said that I was panhandling to the people in person out, like outside the front entrance. And I wasn't asking people in person for any money outside, you know. Are you calling to make a complaint? Well, I was, I was calling because that man, Mr. Daniel... He scolded, bullied, harassed, and threatened me and tried to call the police on me and stuff like that. And they said something about that I was just banned from the libraries for the weekend. But I was to- like, I was told that they were going to call me back yesterday. But um, he, but he did. Um, nobody called me yesterday, and it was unfair. And he wouldn't even. He wasn't even allowing me to explain myself. Like I asked if I can do videos like around the like on the library property and they say yes but I was asking my subscribers you know for help since I'm homeless like I do all the time and they just waited until then to just be malicious and like they called they even made fake bad reviews um on the library website on google reviews to um smear and slander me and they do this everywhere I go like I'm in a hotel right now got out of the rain for the past couple of days and boom, as soon as I did a video, they illegally tracked and stalked everything I do and follow. Um, like they illegally found out the hotel that I'm the address and whatever that I'm staying at. And I didn't even say, well, I'm at such and such. I'm talking about the the online, no, the online stalkers. Is this something you do for your job? No, I'm paid for this. No, no, I don't. You just go to different places and just make videos. Well, well, I'm, I'm, well, I'm being targeted and stalked by, um, by a satanic cult, and and they like threatening my life and everything like that, harassing me online and stalking me online and in person. Did it's, you go make a complaint to the police? The police, the, the police, the police are part of it. <laughs> And so, like, whether I'm, like, everywhere I go, like, for my own safety and security, like, I film everywhere I, well, like, not, um, I don't publicize every, everywhere where I'm going, but a lot of the times I'm, um, like, filming, because, f- you know, people be trying to harm me and stuff. And okay, so, so you're calling to make a complaint. You need to speak to someone about, uh, Daniel. Well, I was I was calling to ask, am I still banned from the libraries? Because he because okay. because he threatened to suspend me on on Friday. He threatened to suspend. So you need to speak to him then, right? No, Do like you I was speak told to him to find out, or I I was told I was told to speak call call up the main administration and ask about it. Did they give you a name on who to speak to? Um. If I remember correctly, I think they said Eric or something. Okay, let me transfer you to him. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Hmm, funny I mentioned the name Tracy in my video yesterday. In my or is it a coincidence?
Public Services. Hi, my name is Candy Grand Prix. Um, this past um, Friday, I had an incident where um, some internet bully gang stalkers, uh, they called up the library and um, they called up the West Bank Regional Library and told lies on me. And Mr. Daniel um, called the police on me and wrongfully suspended me. And he listened to me. I mean, he listened to them, their lies and would not allow me to explain anything. Okay, so who do you want me to, you want to talk to, Nathan? Is, is Mr., well, I was told to talk to Mr. Eric, but I guess I can talk to Mr. Nathan, whoever's available. Okay, Eric Krieger is off today. Well, can I speak to uh, Mr. Nathan? Yeah, hold on for a second. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry, y'all. My, they're making my nose itch. I did not mean to do that with one eye. If you are surfing the web, visit our website, www.jplibrary.net, for information on events and happenings at our library. Here you will find information about library events, programming, and online databases. Feel free to browse the site and let us know what other information we can offer to help you. I'm still feeling the effects of sleep deprivation. The Jefferson Parish Library offers computer classes, including Microsoft Office, Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. The computer classes are designed to assist you in acquiring practical skills needed to use a computer. Small classes allow for individual attention and hands-on experience. All classes are beginning level and are free. Each class is a one-time, two-hour class. Classes are held at both the East Bank Regional Library and West Bank Regional Library. Visit www.jplibrary.net for a sample of some of the classes we offer. This is so messed up, y'all. Do you know about the Jefferson Parish Library online databases? You can access the online databases by going to www.jplibrary.net and clicking on online databases. Uh, Candy? Yes? Um, and let me have your phone number, because Eric will be here in a little while, and he can call you back. He'll be in a little while. Oh, okay, because the other person told me that, um, that he was off today. I did, but I didn't, uh, I heard that he was coming in later. Oh, okay, wow. I mean, because, because, like, the online stalkers were taunting and harassing me saying ha 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 we're gonna make sure you're banned from all the libraries and stuff uh-huh. and they they try to get me banned from hotels and restaurants and just from, from many different places uh-huh. well, he'll call you back whenever he gets in okay all right thanks you're welcome bye-bye bye. All right, now, so I, I um, got to wait for him to call back. Wow, so I wonder what, what would have happened if I would have called yesterday. So now I don't know if I can go. Um, so come to find out the hotel, the guy that checked me in, he lied and said that they don't do late checkout. The website says that yes, they do like that do do like checkout. So, um, so I got some th- some other things to say. Um, so yesterday, um, I yesterday I had um got um. Yesterday I got, um, I had the, um, dinner yesterday evening with the turkey wings and I'm surprised it had, you know, some flavor on the, on the, on the food and like on the gravy, you know, but, um, it wasn't anything extravagant, but, um, 
So nobody helped me with more hotel nights for today. Um, I mean for for the rest of the weekend. I mean for the rest of the week. I'm so sorry. I'm, my words are not coming out right due to the sleep deprivation. So so they won't even give me a um straight answer on whether or not I'm I'm allowed at the library. Um this is so messed up what they're doing and the and the perps kick back and laugh and think this is hilarious. You know, I mean I put in the community post, but in case y'all didn't see in the community post, um I'm gonna show y'all this is the fake Darnell Williams perp what he did. What time did I say? Well, now it's 9.13 in the morning. So it must have been um, 9.02 in the morning. I thought, no, it probably was 8, no, 9 something. Um, Yeah, because, well, I paused it. I'm glad I was thoughtful enough to pause it um, when they asked for my phone number so the stalkers wouldn't have my number. Um, I'm still feeling the effects of sleep deprivation. Like I didn't get to fall asleep until after three or four o'clock this morning. And then I woke up at, um, and I forgot what time I woke up. It was 8.45. Um, so I just woke up about 30 minutes ago. So, um, and I don't know why the fake Darnell Williams perp had been harassing me about, um, he been harassing me about, um, you know, he, he had been harassing me about, um, Popeye's lately. So, look, you see this? And look, when he said, I'm the one that called the library, by the way. And... I hate that number. He lied and said that, oh, your twin sister told me you don't like that number. So so my twin sister is telling the online stalkers how to harass me. Look at all the threats. In case y'all didn't see it on my... um. Tonight we will get you banned at the Riverwalk. This is it. Your your warning. Don't cry about it when we do. Better look. Better look elsewhere. And then make sure that he he would. Yeah, a black pig. Um, this is my twin sister. Look. But y'all all follow her. And she lied. I do not have OnlyFans. And she thought the shit was funny. And he lied and said that, oh, that's where I've been getting the money from. That's not true. The lady that donated the other day, she's supposedly a Christian. See, look, and my twin sister pressed the like button on this um on this video you see that so and um that fake Stephen O'Neill perp the fake T.I. perp, Stephen O'Neill, 
Um, he been stalking, following, and harassing me everywhere on YouTube. So he illegally found my comment on um, Kiana Clark Peace's video yesterday. And then he's like, oh, are you done with slandering me everywhere online and stuff? Or, or everywhere on the internet and this and that or whatever. But I'm like, I'm telling the truth about you, but you're slandering me. You're the one who joined the, the gang stalkers well, falsely accusing me of being a scammer and everything. And you lying and saying you're part of the TI community when you're a whole damn perp. And he pretended to fake support Kiana Clark Peace by attacking me. And then he talked about, oh, I rest my case and stuff like that. You a damn perp, and that's a promise. I saw you harassing and perping Carl Sherman on his multiple accounts. You found just about all his damn accounts to come and harass him with. And, and he tried to manipulate, Stephen tried to manipulate me into arguing with him. Like try to entangle and bait me into arguments and stuff like that. He's extremely narcissistic. And then he um also tried to, um you know, he, he tried to do some other stuff. But yeah, he parrots the slander that the gang stalkers make about me. And then lied and said that I'm slandering him. When he is a perp. He's worse than Anthony. And then come to find out this Stephen O'Neill perp is all the way from Ireland. So if you're in a different country, what 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 does it if you went all the way in Ireland, um me getting help or any donations, that that's none of your damn business. You what you're gonna come all the way to fly to the US to make me shut up? So, um, it was supposed to rain, it was supposed to be scheduled to rain all day, every day, except tomorrow, Wednesday, it was supposed to rain every day. It definitely rained last night and I guess earlier this morning, not, my phone got a bunch of alerts. My phone got a bunch of alerts and I got only 20 something dollars left. Um, I woke up at 8.45, so it was all, uh, now it's too late for breakfast. And, um, you know, and then, um, you, you know, it's too late for breakfast. And, um, so, I mean, I guess I have to warm up and eat what I can of the leftover food. And I feel bad to have to, um throw the, the extra food away since I have to leave. But if, if I would have stayed like a couple of more days, then I could have eaten the remain, remainder of the leftover food, you know, throughout each meal. But, you know, since I have to go on the streets, I can't take the food with me. Um, you know, so I, did, I, was, I didn't even realize that they would pile up I mean, you know, if I would have known that, I probably would have just bought, like, um, two plates of food rather than three, you know. But, um, but, well, it's good that they piled up, you know, with a lot of food, you know. But, I mean, in my situation, I, the fact that I have to leave, um, I feel terrible, you know, having to, um, throw some food away the some of the food that I can't take with me um so but anyway um I got $23 left and I had to buy some something hygiene related and then probably got enough for a snack maybe left over afterwards um and so I have to look like I have to be on the streets tonight and tomorrow night and um Thursday through Saturday is supposed to rain like crazy and I'm gonna need more help and then um Sunday or whatever and next Monday next Tuesday 
it looked like it's not supposed to rain. So it's like hard getting help. And um, like if if the if the perps if they're making sex jokes about me, and jokes about OnlyFans and stuff like that, and then they get defensive and angry when I say that they're that they're sex traffickers. So, the fake Darnell Williams perp, if he lied on me and probably other perps too, you know, called the library and lied on me because they for, like because they attacked me when I'm at my lowest, and so they want to try to um nobody wants to join a fake retarded stupid satanic cult. Let me um uh, I don't even know. Like, I'm going to have to scroll down multiple of my community posts to show y'all what the fake Aquaridoras perp said. Hold on, let me pause it. So, this is the reason why they're doing this to me. You see this? This is the fake Aquaridoras perp. Two thousand twenty four could be a whole year of free hotel rooms and free food candy. Prince of Darkness is waiting for you to make the right decision and surrender to him. And then she um she gave herself a fake thumbs up and threw up the devil made sure to use the devil horns um emojis. Here's another um perp. But I'm blacklisted from employment. This is the fake Darnell Williams perp. You see that? And he make fake pictures altering altering my pictures. Um In the fake Darnell Williams perp said, I am glad, I, I'm kind of glad you didn't get to Pensacola. It would have messed up my birthday plans for you. And this is the fake Darnell Williams perp. He said, we will take your soul. And he said, why no cooking videos? I want to laugh and make fun of you. But y'all praise my twin sister, though. See, look what, he, look what kind of comments he make, And he alters my pictures. Almost two and no video. We know you're not at work. Are you selling your soul? I hope you're not dead. But if you are, R.I.P. He altered my pictures to look satanic. That, see, see, this is the, the type of lies they tell people. Oh. 
So they've been harassing me all summer and last summer about my soul. And this fucker ain't never gave me no damn money. Except maybe a fake $2 applause on YouTube and that I didn't even ask for from him. So, this is the reason why they attacking me and harassing me. And my twin sister has no problems with working with these dangerous devil worshipers. So, um, and she thinks the shit is funny and she's t- taking it lightly and they take it lightly. You know, and they want to beat me into submission and they want to force me to stop talking about, um, you know. So this is what, what what he did. A fake Twitter account to do this. Oh, no, it's on YouTube. Fake YouTube account to do this. So, so you know they they're playing pranks and think it's funny. As I said, um, you know, so look, this was um. April 30th, I did a video right outside the library asking my YouTube subscribers for help. And there was no, um, no problem with it then, you know, they didn't try to call. So... And, um... The fake Darnell Williams perp lied and said that, um, oh, well, you, you know, you tell everybody everything. N- no, you actually go Google and search it everywhere you can online to um find out um, information that you don't have a right to know about me. So... Um, but y'all lying and saying that I'm a, um, you lie and say that I'm a fake T.I. when it's y'all. And when I show the police video, people um, in the so-called TI community, they ignore the shit out of me. So now I can't even get my phones charged. I can't even get my phones charged. Um, or it'll be very hard. 
<clears throat> so I bet you y'all not gonna show the library this video of what y'all y'all harassment and um forcing me to be homeless. Um, all because I won't join your satanic devil worship cult. And so y'all want to attack and harass. And I, re I don't, I mean, I refuse to be a satanic slut, a satanic sex slave. I'm trying to be a Christian. I don't want these people in my life. So, but anyway, they're making my eye itch. Um, I need any and all the help that I can get. Um, I asked my YouTube subscribers. I do not have an OnlyFans. And I don't do Pornhub. But they lie. They lie. And I, as I say, I wouldn't be surprised if they have fake accounts um, mocking and making fun of me. You know, and if you, you treat me like you think I'm so ugly, but why do you want for me to participate in that kind of stuff? But you act like as if you hate everything about me. You call me a dummy every opportunity that you get, but you can't even spell the word liar. The fake Darnell Williams, he, spell it, he spells it L-I-E-R rather than L-I-A-R. So you can't spell the word liar. So I have to get off here and I'm, I'm very upset, um, that I'm gonna, that I have to be forced to check out early. Cause I, as I said, I really think that that guy that was the front desk agent, um, I, Larry or whatever his name is, I think he was freaking lying. Um, so I'm getting off here.